In developing Myanmar's country as a whole, inclusiveness has been a key theme. After two and a half years of reform process, we now need to make sure that the people feel a real part of this, and that's political inclusiveness and financial inclusiveness. And when we focus on financial inclusiveness, it's very much bringing today's banking and financial services to the people. When we look at my country and see the problems that uh, we have in the banking system and ask ourselves why it is that the ordinary people are not using uh, the banks, uh, I come across three key conclusions. Number one, physical reach. They simply cannot get to a branch and you have to remember that 70% of our people live outside cities. And so ways of overcoming that, it's relaxing the regulations on bank branches. And that leads me on to the second reason why many of our people do not use banks. They find them complicated and we need means for them to use the services and transact in a much more simpler way. And let me tie the two uh, solutions together in one example, mobile banking. Mobile banking is an absolute necessity for us. We're about to uh, issue new telecom licenses and that will facilitate this. Philippines, for example, have given us a fantastic example of how you can transact with very simple mobile technology, SMS technology, which is easily understandable. The third and the most critical and the one that will take the most time for us is probably a lack of confidence in our banking system. Part of that is regulation, but part of that is also on the banks itself to uh, behave properly and to firstly encourage usage of their services and then to show that this is for them. The advantage of being last of the block is that we can choose a system that is right for us. And it's much more important to get it right than to get it done quickly. And whilst we cannot be complacent, at the same time we can pick and choose what is right for our country and right for the people.